Once we get through all these bottles, we're going to try something very special for the first time. Oh, for the first time. For the first time. Never had it. Oh, that, yep. This is that came today. a Ben Holiday Ancient Cave Collection Double Oat. We also happen to have an Ancient Cave Collection Smoked, which I, I don't know about that. I, I, I'm not just sure about that, but I'm excited to try that Double Oak. So we're going to try these later on in the stream be sure to stay tuned for those um, we also got a couple of ben holiday single barrels sent to us here from lewis and clark mm -hmm. it's from this one's yeah. from william clark the other one's from That's meriwether cool. lewis so those are cool appreciate ben holiday for keeping us in the good stuff yeah we're gonna that, we're gonna try that double oak i'm excited to see how that is i also have a 13th colony double oak on the way Oh, yeah. Yeah, has it, has, haven't got it yet. Yeah, but I gotta get that one. That. Let's try this smoked first. Let's pop this smoked. Let's pop some smoke. You don't want this smoke. We'll share that one. We'll share it? Okay, well, you go ahead. This is the smoked one. You go ahead and pour that while I get these out of the way so people can see your pretty face. All right. Oh man. And what's like this one is smoked and the other is I, double oak. Yes. I don't know what this means, smoked. But apparently they put these in a these cave. These are so cute. Look at so this. So you had Baker's Mark come out with the cellar age to put it in a cellar. But mm. apparently Ben Holiday has been aging these in, in a, cave. a cave. We saw the cave. We saw the cave. We did go, we went into the cave. This is a hundred proof. And like, but what does the cave have to do with smoking it? This is seven year, two month old, American Oak Applewood smoked char number one. So did they smoke the whiskey or did they smoke the barrel? I don't know. Not sure. We're gonna find out what it tastes like though. I, I mean, they're in Missouri, so I don't know if humidity would be a huge problem for them, but maybe. Like I don't, I don't, and I don't think this is a super deep cave. So not a, not a, don't, don't really know. What do you think? You're just gonna keep your mouth shut until I try it? Well, that means you liked it. That doesn't necessarily mean I liked it. <laughs> uh, they were, yes, I believe. I don't know if they're still available, but these were available at the distillery. So what do you think of that? I like that. Okay. There's, there's a, something that's just a tad bit off-putting about it, but overall, it, There's something about that I, I like. It almost tastes like a French oak finish. Mm. Like it has a little bit of those kind of dry tannins that I get from a French oak. If they had have told me that's French oak, I'd have been like, okay. But it, it's a little, it's like the flavors are not quite as harsh as French oak. Yeah. But it's similar to that. Um, yeah, but I'm not a French oak fan. If that were French oak, it'd be the best one I've ever had. Um, still don't like that better than just their bourbon. Oh. Just Probably not. I don't think I like it as I much like as I like this one right here. I like it though. French oak sounds like foosball. Foosball. Uh, yeah, a lot of, like, the Architect, Maker's Mark 46, all of those are French oak finished. This has a little bit of that kind of oaky tannin, that dry oaky tannins that you get on French oak, uh, but it stops short of that. Like, it's not super harsh or off-putting, but I'd just soon have their bourbon. This one though, this one gonna be the man. I'm just going to take. You're gonna be the man. You just keep like bringing all these Taylor Swift songs to my mind when you say things. Yes, I'm just speaking in Taylor Swift you memes are. at this point. You're just, you're really a Swifty. Yes, very much so. Ooh, okay. Baker Seven's good stuff. All right, there, wait Fandrew. a minute now. That smells delicious. Oh, that's nice. That's yeah, really good. That's nice. Yeah, that's really good. We need, we need a little more of that. That is really good. Okay, so this one. It's so good. Man. Yeah, between these two. It's that's a nice double oak. Definitely. A little bit of a sharpness to the oakiness. Um, so like Woodford double oak is going to have a super sweet balance to it. It's got that interesting vanilla to kind of, like most double oaks have a little bit of a harshness to the oak and, and most that's mo what most folks are looking for. Why I like a Woodford is it has the sweet balance mm. to, to kind of counteract that harshness so you don't pick it up as much. This one, 
Great bourbon. Love the double oaked on it. Um, doesn't have that sweetness I was hoping. Like if it had just a little more touch of sweetness, might be the best I double think, oaked yeah. out there. Might be. But Man. still one of the better double oaked I've had. That's really good. I can't wait to get the 13th Colonies here and compare them. I, like I would really love to see that just a tad bit sweeter. Yeah. That would be But it's still, really it's already good. fantastic. 